Hi there guys, uh, welcome back to my channel and ang pag-uusapan natin ngayon ay ang tungkol sa mga patient o alaga ng mga caretakers, caregivers na nananahe. So, bakit ko ginawa ang vlog na ito? Because of this. Because of my scratch of my hands and my legs. So, karamihan sa mga workers or caretaker dito sa Taiwan. May mga ano, may mga matanda or yung mga elders na talagang sasaktan ka. This is not the first time. This is not the first time that my patient hit me, scratch my face or beat me. Pero we, we don't have no choice. Still, we don't want to go home. Still, we want to work. You know why? There is reason why. First is we need to earn money to send back in the Philippines. Second is if you came here in Taiwan and you are first time and you have a loan in the bank, we need to pay that one. Kaya kung mga alaga namin ay nananakit, tinitiis namin. Or kung kaya mo pang i-handle. Pero kung hindi mo kayang i-handle, pwede mong palitan ang alaga mo. Pwede kang lumipat sa ibang amo. Pero sa akin, I didn't expect na gagawin niya to sa akin. Kasi di ba babae siya? She's a woman. But I didn't expect that she will <laughs> hurt me like this. Ang dami kong scratch kaya dito. First time is hit this one. And... Uh, this is the picture so you can see there is blood in my forehead and this one it's, this is happened yesterday yesterday night I thought he's just a woman and I'm stronger than her so she will not do it but I didn't expect and he ever kick me, kick my face. Ay, ang hirap, ang hirap talaga. It's uh, most of the workers in other countries, they are suffering really. But because of, they want to help their family in the Philippines, if they are suffering, it's okay. As for me, this is not the first time sa lahat ng mga inalagaan ko. Ganun ang nangyayari. Man, a woman, they will beat me, they will slap me, they will hurt me, I don't know why. <laughs> so maybe that's my luck. Maybe I'm not lucky. That's why I said that uh, all of, all of the volume workers, they are really strong. Even, even their employer hurting them or their patient hurting them. It's like, it's okay. As long as they can earn money. You're lucky if your employer is good with you and also your patient. But there is employer is good and the patient is bad. There is a patient is good but the employer is bad. In some employer, they don't have food for you. Yes. You will buy your own food. I'm here for eight long years and I have four employers changing employers before and I experienced that one. Some employers, they will not give you food to eat. You need to buy your own. Some employers, they will give everything to you. Just like in this house. Breakfast, lunch, and everything to give it to me. But the problem is their mother. And sometimes their mother tell a lie. And she will tell that I beat her or I didn't clean her face. I didn't brush her. I said, just, just check the CCTV. It's, uh, it's really hard, but... I just told to him that if it's okay, I will change. I want to go home. 
I pack all my things and that time I cried and I pack all my things because it's really it's really tired but this woman can't appreciate the things you've done to her I do all my efforts just to please her but it's different it's not like it's not like those other other elderly that they are happy if someone helping them gaya ng alaga kung matanda noon na lalaki every time I prepare his food he always say to me Ames, thank you so much for preparing my food thank you so much for helping me to take a bath thank you but this woman it's it's different she said why should I say thank you see so it's not it's not all employers and patients are same there are some really there are attitudes but sometimes when I give food to her if she don't want to eat she throw it away and when I see that one I do my very best to prepare her food or I use my own money to buy things like drinks to give her to drink but she just threw it there and when I see that food threw it away I feel I feel bad why you threw the food if you don't like it just tell me you don't want to eat it's okay but do not throw the food because you know there are a lot of people don't have food to eat I told to her that you are lucky because you have money you can eat everything but there are some people who don't have food to eat really so I really salute all those who if W like me that they do their very best to work here in other country just to send and to support their family in the Philippines and I am also sorry for those OFW that died in other countries because their boss or their employers killed them like this so sana Merong aral kayong napulot sa aking naishay na ito kasi hindi naman lahat ng mga OFW ay swerte. Hindi lahat ng nag abroad ay swerte talaga. Depende yan sa amo na natimpuhan mo. They are nice with me. Their son, daughters, grandchildren. But her? <laughs> I don't know what will I say. She's nice or what? It, this will happen she will be the one to hurt you or you will be the one to hurt her ganun kaya ang mga OFW talaga yun ang sabi ang sinasabi nila na lagi kong naririnig tease pa more tease pa more because of dollar we need to work work hard so may mga picture na I-share ako sa taas para makita nyo talaga na you can see that it's true. So guys, I hope uh, you enjoy this video and thanks for listening. God bless and have a good day. Bye.